Hi everyone, thank you for coming and welcome to The Roast of the Sidemen. Ah, uh, KSI. Given what happened last Christmas, this might be the only roast you're invited to this year. <laughs> Good night. JJ once went to visit a men's prison and the guys were made up. Some of them hadn't seen a proper <laughs> years. <laughs> the build-up to KSI versus Logan has been intense. JJ hasn't threatened to end a life with a hook since his ex-girlfriend got pregnant. Oh. <laughs> That's the level. Do you know how mad that is? That's mad. <laughs> JJ said Logan was in for the worst 18 minutes of his life. My first thought was, when's the new EP out? <laughs> At the Challenger Games, Toby came second in the 100 metres race. Or because of his nose, the 97 metres race. <laughs> The Sidemen love hide and seek. Maybe next time they can try and find Josh's personality. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not saying Josh is dull, but I haven't seen six people carry someone so lifeless since my granddad's funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> That's what he would have wanted. <laughs> my favourite member of the Sidemen is Vic, or to give him his full name, Victim. <laughs> Vic really has the it factor, and by that, I mean he's a clown who likes the taste of kids. <laughs> so think... <laughs> Just making friends, guys. He's oh, gonna lose his job. Oh, he's nicked. <laughs> I'm panicking now. <laughs> Harry has been in a five-year relationship with Ket. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, Kate. <laughs> Harry struggles with two things, video ideas and staying sober. So I thought he could copy the Sidemen and rip off a TV show. Why not try Total Whiteout? <laughs> Dancing on Spice. <laughs> and of course, come down with me. <laughs> Harry went viral when he kicked a ball at his mum's head. Being from Guernsey, he's used to finishing on a relative's face. <laughs> Ethan is in really good shape. Apparently he built up his arms by clinging onto his more successful mates for years. <laughs> Ethan has always wanted a decent figure. Oh, sorry, Ethan has always wanted a decent father figure. <laughs> sorry. Ethan took his mother's surname, which is ironic because all his dad left him was pain. <laughs> Thank you very much. The dress looking immaculate. Some great roasting so far. I haven't witnessed such a nasty put down since Deji's dog got incinerated. The jacket says tag. I read that the side men are opening a hotel. Will guests have to do all the work there as well? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God, John. This was is this video. Ethan is the face of Gymshark and also the bingo wings. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan is now a father. Oh, fucking hell. Fucking <laughs> oh, <you know>, hell. <laughs> Fucking hell, man! Ethan is now a father, but the pregnancy wasn't easy. Will you still find me attractive with stretch marks and saggy tits? I will, said Faith. <laughs> oh, 
goodness me. <laughs> Ethan made a documentary. <laughs> Ethan made a documentary about him running a marathon. Exhausted, fed up, and wanted to quit after five minutes, I eventually made it through the video. <laughs> In the documentary, we learned that when Ethan was at his heaviest, he almost killed himself. What did you do? Film a mukbang video? <laughs> <laughs> Josh says he's tired of being called boring. Yeah, you fucking look it, mate. <laughs> Josh is so old and dry, and only mistook him for the Queen's ashes. Josh is often described as YouTube royalty. Unfortunately for him, they mean Prince Andrew. But the Cybermen do remind me of the royal family. Rich, powerful, and Harry can't wait to fucking leave. Vic, before the charity match, you told me not to make any paedophile jokes. <laughs> I think we both know where this is going. <clears throat> My favourite member of the Sidemen is Vic Ram. Or to give him his full name, Vic Ram's Kids. <laughs> Vic has a little gym in his house. The poor boy's handcuffed to the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Vic was a talented pianist until he was banned from touching A minor. Vic is getting married. I'm so excited for the bride and groomer. <gasps> it doesn't stop. Vic's wedding is going to be a black tie event. Bad news for Harry, he hates both those groups. Vic's a DJ. That's not the roast. Um, <coughs> <laughs> DJs are known for scrubbing records, so Vic has had plenty of practice when wiping his hard drives. <laughs> Vic scored a great goal in the charity match. Harry hadn't seen such a ruthless finish since his ex left him. <laughs> in the Sidemen, Harry ticks all the boxes, according to an autism expert I spoke to. It was coming. Harry's ex broke up with him because she wanted something he couldn't give her. What was it? Eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Harry. Unlike the weight you gained over lockdown, nothing lasts forever. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. <laughs> Toby is a religious man. The only thing holier than him is the pillow he fucks each night. <laughs> I'll take you over for the juice, bro. <laughs> when people go for penis enlargements, they hold up a picture of Toby's nose. <laughs> Not like this! Not like this! Not like this! Toby, if you did cocaine, you'd snort verses, not lines. <laughs> no, no, no. That was hard. That was hard. That was hard. Oh, God. Toby has a good boy reputation. But did you know he once got stopped by the police for having a concealed weapon in his nose? <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between Simon and his viewers? Simon's engaged. <laughs> Simon is a big fan of Leeds. Good news, I think Deji has a spare one. <laughs> the, dog. the dog's dog. gone! <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's so long. Simon has a kids' charity called MM7. Or as Vic pronounces it, mm, seven. <laughs> oh, 
That was my rush getting turned into him, bro. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that was good. KSI, how have you stopped drinking, got a therapist, and become more of a. <laughs> What's the difference between KSI and a retail park? A retail park has pets at home. <laughs> oh, R.I.P. Oh, the dog again. <laughs> JJ, Prime is the most tasteless thing you've produced since the face. When boxing, JJ walks out to his own music, so his opponent's ears are already bleeding. <laughs> hey Ethan, what was your dad's walkout music? <laughs> <laughs> JJ used to stream games with his dad. Now it's just tears. <laughs> KSI was strongly anti-vax until he realised he couldn't dodge a jab. <laughs> JJ once said Trippy Red was his worst feature. I guess your hairline was a close second. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> it's just different with it. Hearing JJ's music makes me want to jump on a track at Euston Station. <laughs> but seriously, JJ, the biggest hit you've had was from your dad's belt. Thank you very much.